everyone good evening i hope everyone is doing great so today we are going to learn another topic okay and this is a very common use case which which will be used in almost all applications people do this work okay so what is the use case of today's or the business case is that additional like adding additional filter condition okay filter in get next work using decision tree okay so the business case is here if, if you see so whenever users is doing get next work user can get those cases only those cases where his lob and case lob matches okay so this is our kind of a, the use case okay where we want to case use case uh, where we want to compare the case lob with the operator lob okay so what happens okay whenever we want to like uh, add more filter conditions to uh, get next work criteria what we do okay so commonly like or mainly we have a two places one is that directly we can add more filter conditions in uh, get next work list view okay and then second things is that additionally we can add more filter in this decision tree there are some other ways as well but uh, we are not going to talk today okay so what happens so let's say you got 100 cases okay directly uh, based on the conditions of get next work list view okay 100 cases after that what happens on that 100 cases pega applies that pega applies this decision tree and compares or like kind of a applies additional filter okay you can ask questions that why then we cannot do that directly on database using get next work list view yes that can be done okay but sometimes what happens if that attribute which we are going to compare is not exposed in assignment table okay or not available at all in assignment table but still we want to apply the filter condition so i have taken a kind of a common uh, this uh, this use case okay i mean this can also be exposed okay uh, but like just for learning purpose we are using this approach okay so what we are going to do here is that whenever we are going to create a case we will stamp the case lob or we'll say that this case is created by this lob user okay and then when the approver is doing the get next work okay or that when user is doing the get next work okay he can only get the cases when his lob and the, the value which is available on the case should match okay so this is the use case which we are going to do that okay and steps is very simple okay so i'll walk through this step and then we'll go and do it okay so the first things which we do is that we are going to save us that uh, decision uh, sorry this is not a decision table it should be tree just a second okay so save as otv get next work decision tree okay to application rule set then create a when rule to compare the line of business compare the line of business then we'll, we'll be creating a data page to open the case okay and to get the lob of the case and then compare with the operator lob so that we are going to do and then add the above created when rule to decision tree obviously we need to execute that apply that and then test the get next work so let's see how we'll do in pega end to end i'll, I'll showcase in this session so if you see i have opened this get next work chart as well okay or that uh, uh, where pega have explained so this decision tree comes after that when the when pega executes that find assignment in work list or work basket and what happens in find assignment in work list and work baskets pega applies directly a kind of a fire query using get next work list view okay and then brings the data after that whatever the data let's say as i explained that if you're getting 100 and then further you will be and on that 100 cases the decision tree this decision tree will get executed okay and in this only we are going to add additional filter so the first things which we need to do is we need to make sure that i have I have a sample case already ready okay so first i what i'll be doing is that i'll be setting on a case uh, that some business line value okay so in poi default i have already done that so let's say i'm saying business line is finance okay so this is done so whenever i'll be creating this value will get the stamp okay so let me create few cases quickly and i'll show you so i created one case okay so we are done with three case okay if i'll see the clipboard page we can see that business line is finance is there okay on each case see business and finance is there so now who can get the cases okay 
who can work on these cases so this is assigned like this is assigned in senders like in a work basket so only who can work who has that lob or whatever the attribute i'm comparing basically lob should be that finance okay so that is our the use case so we can see that we have four or five cases available in the work basket so now based on our steps so first things what we need to do we we made sure your or we make sure that now we have the value on the case that then we are going to modify our decision tree so that is our next task so let's search that decision tree so get next so the name is get next work criteria so let's search that so we got this and this is there in a sign desk class okay so depending on your needs okay you can customize this like if you want to execute for work list and work basket both or you just want to execute for work basket we don't want to compare for work list because if somehow the case is going to a user work list that means the all these filter conditions has been already applied okay so i'll be saving as to a sign desk work basket so that will just get executed for work basket instances okay so this is done okay then what we are going to do we are going to add okay we can add here let's add that and we'll say so we are going to add that if that our when condition is returning true then return true okay and then here we need to say continue or maybe we can add our conditions here before that so that we can say continue so this decision tree you can customize like whatever way you want okay but basically we want to add that so let me just delete and refresh let's do it from the beginning again let's delete and add here we can copy the whole things here also so we could have added in the last as well not a problem okay false so then return true so this is exactly here we what we want to do okay so the our when rule is let's say we will say um compare or like check business or we can say validate lob let's say any any name you can say that okay depending on your things okay or we'll say filter lob simply filter lob so if it is true okay then we want to continue if it is true then we want to continue and check the further condition okay so this is done now we what we need to do so this condition should go there So this is done. So we have kind of added it filter lobby. Obviously, it's comparing that filter lobby is not there. So we are going to create this van rule. So our first step is kind of done. We save as that, and even we added that. So first and our like last um, things we are done. Add the above created van rule. Okay, but still it's it's not saving because the rule is not there. But we did it first step and this one. Let's go ahead and create a van rule. Data model uh, decision when we'll say filter lob and we can create this and assign this work basket. Now here we want to compare that. Okay, so one side let's say that I have two user. Okay, admin one and I have already configured their lob in the py positions. You can you can use another property, okay? But I don't want to expose any another property or do comparison. So I'm just using this, this only, okay? So in admin two, I'll say let's say, uh, finance in place of finance, I'll say HR, okay? So for admin two, let's say admin two lob is HR and admin one lob is finance. So whatever the cases we have, rest everything is same. So I'm routing to a loan approval work basket where the case required english skills okay so both the user is having the same skills in the work basket if you see and if i show you here also so our case needs that uh, required skills is english and with the rating five so both user is having but now what we want to say that 
that admin can only work on these cases because he belongs to that same LOB and admin to belongs to HR so he cannot work so this is our the end use case test. Now to compare that here so the one side we can simply write operator ID page operator ID dot py position so this with this we want to compare so this value should match now this side okay we need to see that that the it, we want to compare with the case data right so case data so what we need to do we need to write a data page okay so data page you can write it I, I have already a data page okay when I had created a case when I'm creating a case uh, then by default uh, when we are creating a case by default case type not case whenever we are creating a case type by default pega is creating a database so if you want you can delete and you can like just have it on work layer like get walk of six details or something but i'll be using the same so here i have a data page d underscore home and this is a lookup which just take the py id and browse our case okay or kind of open our case so if i just show you i'll just pass one case id so let's say I'll say adds 3048 and run. So here we can see that business line L finance is there. So this is what we want to compare in that one. So we will taking this one and we'll say D underscore home. So we'll go back to our filter lobby D underscore home and then will say PYID PYID and the value now question is that what will be the value right so this decision tree runs on that all the instances what we have fetched or from the database right as I explained in the beginning that if let's if you're getting 100 cases so to loop on that 100 cases okay and that 100 item or that 100 cases it's not cases basically 100 instances of assigned as work basket okay it could be for assigned as work list or work basket but in this scenario we are we are just uh, like thinking about work basket so all the instances belongs to assigned as work basket and we need to see that in assigned this work basket instances what attribute can match with the PYID so if I'll show you the instance of this one send this work basket px ins name or P, px ref object ins name is exactly with matches with the PYID so we need to pass this one okay because our decision tree will get executed on the instance of assigned this work basket each time so what we are going to do here is that the value PYID will be passing this one px ref object ins name so what it will do it will loop okay each time and pass that px ref object ins name to pyid and open that and then the comparisons will happen on business line so i think we are done with the all the steps just we need to test now okay let's revisit that what we did that okay now what we, we can if i go here and save it it will work so we what we did we first make sure that the LOB is there on the case so we just had coded this for you it can come from the operator also the person who is creating that request or it can come from some UI okay anywhere for now you've had coded then what we did we kind of a save as that get next work criteria decision tree to assign this work basket in applications role set then we created a when rule okay filter LOB where we are comparing so this is one example where we are comparing okay and this is the benefit of this one okay like why pega is given this option says that here you can add multiple conditions which maybe you cannot add those conditions directly in to database using list view okay the guest get next work list view but here you have some flexibility so that you can do it so that is where we are leveraging this feature okay so as of now we have just added one conditions but in your business case if you need multiple conditions you can do that okay and also we, we are learning here that how we can do a kind of a database operations like do a obj open also and compare because this d underscore home is doing nothing but it's doing obj open okay so we added that also and then we make sure that in the operator id we have that so here we are using py positions as again like you can use any attribute so here we are making sure that this operator is having finance okay and then operator 2 is having some like other lob now let's go ahead and test it okay so what i'll be doing i'll be logging with uh, this both the operator okay admin 1 and admin 2 so 
so I'll say let's say admin one and rules and then in other place I log in with admin two. So we are getting because of the app link. Okay. And now we have a total four cases. So first I'll do with the admin one. Okay. And in both the operator configurations, okay, if you have not like if you don't know how this settings works, okay, that get uh, from the walk queues first. I have created already the two separate video on getting work, so I'll attach that link here. So in both the operators, we have marked that that get the walk queues first. Okay, I mean they get the cases from the walk queues first. So what it will do, it will try to get the cases from the walk basket first. Okay, obviously. Okay, and for the admin too, if none of the matching, so you can see that it's a starting with four two and then ending with four eight. So we have four or five cases. So let's see that if you're getting or not. Okay, so here we have logged in with admin two in this browser so i'll do a get next work so 3044 let's see that 3044 is there in our list so see here 3044 is not there in list that means that with the admin 2 304444 was already available in his work basket uh, sorry in work list so it's coming from the work list here some condition is there okay that's where that view is not coming but if you see here one item is showing so if i'll do each time Okay, we will always get this case only. So what we'll do, we'll submit this case and then again we'll try to do a get next work. See, we are getting a message that there are currently no assignment available for you to work. But ideally if you see, this admin to also has that uh, low, uh, like work basket, okay, access and that uh, it, he has that skill, but still he's not getting, okay. So the reason is same because our conditions that filter allow is failing for him, okay. Now let's go ahead and try with admin two, okay, sorry, admin one. So I'll do a get next work. See, we got 3048. So 3048 is nothing, but this is the case if you see here, 3048. So our condition is working. Now if I'll go ahead and change that for even for admin one also, so then no one will get that. Case. So whenever we're making a change to operator ID, we need to make sure that we are logging and log off. Okay. So let's me log off and try admin one. Now if I do a, then again, this admin, like uh, this user, okay, has that few cases in his work list. So maybe we'll get the from the cases from the work list, but not from the work basket. So let's refresh and see that what all cases we have available 3047. 4, 2, 4, 3, 6, and 7. So these are the cases available. Let's see if we're getting from any from those. those. See 3045. And if I come here, we can see that 3045 is not in our list. So basically, again, that filter condition is working. Okay. And now we can remove that. So this is how we can do that. Okay. So kind of a, we, we completed that our all the steps. If I come to this one. So what we did. We configure like uh, we save as this get next work list view and then we added the when rule as well using database. Okay. And compared with the operator, operator LOB and then applied that like kind of a newly created when rule to decision tree and tested that as well. So everything is working fine. Okay. Now what you can do. Okay. And as I said that this, this, this scenario is almost used in most of the applications where we need some kind of a, if you're using get next work, then definitely you need to modify this this decision tree to accommodate multiple filter conditions which is not directly available on database so please do try and let me know if if it is helping or if you're not able to do i can help you okay so that's it on today's class thank you thank you very much have a good day bye